It's Nikolai. Uh, I am doing a quick, well, hopefully a quick review on the WE or WeTech uh, G23C. Uh, the way I received it is like this. I wrote down guns just to make it easier for my parents to know what's in the box. But, um... Uh, and I went to go pick this up at the store since there's one about 40 minutes away from my house. Uh, yeah, so it just comes in a plain box on the outside. Uh, once you open it up, I'm going to stand up so then it's easier for you to see. It comes with the handgun, uh, two other replaceable back straps the back of the grip comes with the magazine 25 round mag uh, I loaded it I've been shooting it a couple times um, good just throwing it out there I'm gonna explain more about it and then it comes with two pins the smaller one I believe is two for the back strap but the longer pin I do not know what that's for I might look it up some other time <clears throat> so, yeah, 25 round magazine. Uh, if you do happen to get this gun, I recommend uh, when you're putting in the gas, only charge it for about three seconds. Three seconds is good enough for a full mag because uh, you don't need a lot of gas to be able to shoot a full mag, full 25 rounds, uh, perfectly, plus a little extra. So, you don't need a whole lot for the magazine. Back straps are really helpful depending on how you like how big your hands are. I guess I don't know. Uh, I've heard that it's some people like bigger ha uh, back straps, some like smaller. So they give you two different ones to choose from, and I believe this is generation four. And then it comes with the G23. Uh, this is a great gun. One second. I'm going to pull the slide back, although it is hard when doing it with one hand. There we go. So this is what it looks like with the slide back. <clears throat> Basically, regular Glock. Uh, it's got it's a bit different on the top of the gun. The G18C, Vtech G18C, I was originally going to get. Uh, they were currently out of stock at the store that I went to. <clears throat> so they gave me two other options. Which was this G23C and the G25C, I believe. G25 was pretty basic. If you know what the Timberwolf gun is, uh, or Timberwolf looks like a G18, or Glock at least. Uh, I don't really like that kind of gun, and that's what it looked like. It was really basic. Uh, this gun is good. I mean, you can hear a bit of it, loose parts, but that's not a problem. I've shot it both on semi and fully automatic. Uh, that does not affect it. So, this is a great gun. Uh, it comes with the selector switch on the back. I'm going to close the slide. Selector switch is on the back. It is not ambidextrous. Uh, and it's uh, basically it's for right hand players, but works for anyone. It's got the grip has little grooves for your fingers. The trigger has a it has a certain little trigger for safety. When the gun is empty, when you pull the trigger back, you heard the click. And the trigger will stay back until you pull the slide. Just a tiny bit. But if you pull it back just a little bit and your magazine is loaded and all set to go, if you pull it just back just that much, it will not fire. You need to pull the slide back all the way. It's got a little rail, so then you can add a flashlight or a laser or whatever you want to attach there. <clears throat> Uh, so about the gun's material, it has a full metal uh, upper receiver, the slide, other than the orange tip. Uh, 
selector switch is metal, iron sights metal. Pretty much the whole slide. Uh, the lower receiver or the grip, whatever you want to call it. I call it lower receiver. Lots of people do. Uh, but back to it, it is made out of high quality ABS plastic. It's got a little groove for your thumb, which is actually really neat. So yeah, I guess it's basically for right hand players. It's a really nice feel to it. Room for your thumb. Uh, and then the magazines, they take, I believe, just basically any Glock magazine made by Wii or Wii Tech or WE, whatever you want to call it. Really nice mag, all metal. Uh, this isn't like my M9 mag. I'm not going to get that out right now. Because uh, I have it put away. Uh, it does not clip back down. So you have to slowly pull it down or hold it down. Another thing. I don't really like this one part about it. It's that it's a pain to load. You slip your BBs in the top. Then you have to press it down. So if you you're, you decide to use a speed loader. Speed loaders are really hard to load this magazine. But other than that, it's great. It does not use a lot of gas, so it... One can, like, uh, if I had a full can, I, lately I've been using King Arms, uh, green gas. One can, which this is 8 ounces, if you use that, it could probably last you way over, uh, way over 2,000 rounds, my best guess. Um... I'm uh, later some other time hopefully soon I'm going to do a shooting test to show you uh, the gun uh, costs a hundred dollars about uh, if you're buying it online there will be shipping and or tax and stuff like that uh, I don't know if it was just a deal because it's after Christmas and all that uh, so I it's on the website it says 99.99 and it's the same at the store. I don't know if it's always like this or if it's because it's close to the holiday just after. And uh, so it cost me ninety nine ninety nine Exactly. So there was no tax, no fees, anything like that. So that's a great deal. And I'm just throwing this out there. The magazines. I am going to buy another magazine soon. And hopefully some green gas. Ammo I don't need to worry about. But from what I've seen on the website, a 25 round magazine like this costs about $22 on air splat. And you can also get a 50 round extended mag. And those I believe are about $40. Sorry about the twitching or whatever. Shaking. Not trying. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. But yeah, forty dollars for fifty round mag, about twenty two for twenty five round mag. Uh, yeah, so I highly recommend you get this gun if you want a small gun. Uh, that is that uh, you don't need to spend a lot on. That's good quality, and uh, that um you can choose between semi and fully automatic great gun great price outstanding price more than worth the money even if you buy it off the website and it costs a little more because of tax or fees or anything like that it is more than worth it this is an amazing gun uh which means i'm pretty sure that the rest of the glock series uh whether it's the Glock uh, C series, which is G18C, uh, the G23 and 25. Those are the only ones that I can think of right now. Uh, but from what I can tell, it was the gets a great price, very reliable, very good gun, and uh, they get they sell it for an amazing price. So I highly recommend getting a WeTech Glock if you want semi and fully automatic choice. Or they do have semi-automatic Glocks. But very good and very reliable gun. Uh, check it out. I recommend buying one if you want something compact and 
And like I've already mentioned, different settings. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. I'm hoping to do a shooting test either later today or within the next few days at least. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.